This video shows how to make miniature kitchen cabinet or miniature hanging wall shelf or mini beverage station. These are a few toys from my childhood and from my daughter's childhood. You will see a makeover of these in coming weeks. I plan to use them in my decor by putting them in miniature furniture that would fit the size. So first thing, these are some pots. So I'm going to place them on the top shelf of cupboard or my beverage station. These are cups or mugs. So they will be on the lower shelf. And these are plates. They can be placed in the lower most rack or shelf. So uh, this is how they would their layout would be. And I'm placing them so that I can know the width and the height of my furniture so I'm taking a scale and if I check it's like two and a half inches so if I take a three inch wide furniture it will fit in very well it will be an open furniture therefore I think uh, open shelving will be there so yeah like this so it will be three and a half inches my Shelf is going to be three and a half inches in height at three inches in width. And if I look at the width, it should be one inches deep or one inches inside going in. So taking these into account, I'm going to cut the wood or the cardboard or the hardboard for this. So I took a piece of paper and using my ruler, I took the correct dimensions and made out my plan, how my uh, shelf would look like or the cupboard would look like. And I made modifications as well and I've made it like 4 inches is going to be the total height and 3 inches is going to be the width and 1 and 1 fourth inch is going to be the depth of my cupboard or dresser. Now with this pattern in mind, I took, I love to recycle. So people who uh, know me know that I recycle a lot. So I'm taking a cardboard box. Now this is a very strong cardboard so I'm going to use one of these boxes and using a knife to cut it so that the strength of the box is not lost and I'm going to cut according to my patterns. So here I have these pieces already cut out. Now some of the pieces which are going to be the shelf or the side they need extra strength. Now the back piece doesn't need so much strength it will get strengthened as everything built up so I'll keep it single layer but uh, say the sides they need to be strengthened so i'm going to add some glue and glue these pieces together so that it becomes double and it becomes a uh, really strong okay. i'm using pva glue for this spread it evenly in thin coat put the two pieces together and then Lay them flat somewhere and put something heavy on top. Now using my pattern, I just marked lines where my shelves would come. Now I made some extra strips for supporting the shelves here. So I'm going to glue them again using PVA glue. So once I've added these strips of paper like wood and furnitures these will support the shelves you can see there's steps made on them once this is nice and dry then I'll add the shelves and I'm going to attach them here again using PVA glue so they'll stand in support of the shelf I might need some extra support using different items from my home clips and all to keep them standing in position while the glue dries. Once the horizontal shelves were dry, I took these side pieces which I had done two pieces together to strengthen them and I just placed them on the side and I curved, I marked a little curve on the top and the bottom to give it a beautiful finish and I've cut them out similarly on both the sides and then I'm going to stick them again with PVA glue onto the sides like this. Now with the frame ready, it's easy to add the glue just along the edges and then stick everything together.
let this whole thing dry and then I'll come back for decorating it. Now this is nice, strong and sturdy but I also used some paper tape and I added it to the edges and joints just to give it a little more strength and also it gives it a very neat finish. So once I paint it, it will look so unified. See the difference? This is the place without the tape or the paper. One can just add tissue paper and this is with the tissue paper or the paper tape. So this is so neat. Once I paint it, it will become one unified thing. And it's pretty strong. I'm using some charcoal grey colour for painting this. So I'm starting with the outside and if required go back with the second coat. This is acrylic paint. The first coat of paint always looks pretty messy but once I come back with the second coat it starts to look really good. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Everything looks so beautiful in this. Stands out perfectly. I like my miniature wall hanging shelf or cabinet. In my next video, I shall share how to make miniature kitchen counter, cabinet and sink. I feel addicted to this craft and I think I'm going to make more of these. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and video. Thank you.